Hey guys, today I'm going to do the uh, video on, the on how to replace the uh, brakes on an 03 Honda Civic. Um, that's my jack point. Using a 3 ton jack. It's much easier to use, I feel it's safer. Have my jack stand over there to the side. Um, right now I have my breaker bar. I didn't completely lift the tire off the ground. There's still pressure on it. So this way I can uh, remove the lug nuts. Let's do one. I can start loosening them and um, so I gotta take all those out you saw in one of my previous videos I had uh, took off the wheel lock and I replaced it with that that one wheel lock is a different size from the other ones it's a 13 16 inch and uh, yeah and I'll show you how to uh, replace the brakes alright guys now I got the wheel off so There's the brake pads, very little on the outside. And the inside they're worn out too, so they were not even need to get signed. Um, so all I gotta remove are this bolt, which is for the slider pin. That bolt too. And then I'm gonna press the caliper inside out to replace that, put in the brakes. With new with um, some new silicone glue on the slider pins and on the back of the brake pads and the shims inside here. Um, and that's it. The brake does seems to be in good shape. Um, and that's it. Alright guys. Under the hood, I loosened the cap for the um, brake, cap, brake master cylinder. That's to help so there's no vacuum pump when I take. Another press of calipers. Nice. Under the hood, I loosened the cap for the brake uh, brake master cylinder. That's to help, so there's no vacuum pump when I take another press of calipers. Nice. Slider pins here are 14 millimeters. I don't. I'm missing that for the uh, for the half inch drives. So I'm using a 9/16 for half inch drives, but they're 14 millimeters for the uh, for the Civic on the slider pins. Usually with this, uh, I guess whatever this pin over here is, you're able to differentiate with the brake pads, which one goes on which side. The one with this would always be the ones on the back. Now, with the new ones. Yeah, now. These are the slider pins from the dust boot for the uh, caliper. They actuate and they move as the caliper presses the uh, brakes in. These are what helps it move in and out. Um, I'm going to lubricate it with this Primatex Ultra Disc Brake Caliper Lube. Uh, try to look for something that's synthetic. Um, <clears throat> I was also using a Silaglide. Um, so you can either use Silaglide or this. Either one will, uh, will, will work uh, perfectly fine. Um, what should do? Oh yeah, and you can differentiate the top to bottom slider pin. The bottom one doesn't have this rubber boot there, the top one does. Uh, just put a small amount on the side of it, and then same thing here. Come on. Help it move a lot easier. Uh, bridge. This will be for the back. Put a little bit wherever it contacts with the metal, which would be on the side, and where it hits the caliper on the back, right there. 
So you put it on the back here so it doesn't make uh, noise when you uh, press the brakes. And then I'm going to give the wrong ones. Usually with this, uh, I guess whatever this pin over here is, you're able to differentiate with the brake pads, which one goes on which side. The one with this would always be the ones in the back. Now, with the new ones. Yeah, now. These are the slider pins from the dust boot for the uh, caliper. They actuate and they move as the caliper presses the uh, brakes in. These are what helps it move in and out. Um, I'm gonna lubricate it with this Primatex Ultra Disc Spray Caliper Lube. Uh, try to look for something that's synthetic. Um, <clears throat> I was also using a Siliglide. Um, so you can either use Siliglide or this. Either one will, uh, will, will work uh, perfectly fine. Um, what you can do. Oh yeah, and you can differentiate the top to bottom slider pin. The bottom one doesn't have this rubber boot there, the top one does. Uh, just put a small amount on the side of it. Put that in. Same thing here. Bottom. Help it move a lot easier. Uh, the brakes. This will be for the back. Put a little bit wherever it contacts with the metal, which should be on the side, and where it hits the caliper on the back, right there. So you put it on the back here so it doesn't make uh, noise when you uh, press the brakes. And then I'm gonna give the wrong ones. These are the slider pins from the dust boot for the uh, caliper. They actuate and they move as the caliper presses the uh, brakes in. These are what helps it move in and out. Um, I'm gonna lubricate it with this Primatex Ultra Disc Spray Caliper Lube. Uh, try to look for something that's synthetic. Um, <clears throat> I was also using a Siliglide, um, so you can either use Siliglide or this, either one will, uh, will, will work uh, perfectly fine. Um, what you can do, oh yeah, and you can differentiate the top to bottom slider pin. The bottom one doesn't have this rubber boot there, the top one does. Uh, just put a small amount on the side of it. Then, same thing here. Bottom. 
hop it moving a lot easier. Uh, the brakes. This will be for the back. I want to put a little bit wherever it contacts with the metal, which will be on the side. And where it hits the caliper on the back, right there. So you put it on the back here so it doesn't make uh, noise when you uh, press the brakes. And then. I'm gonna give the wrong ones. Wow. Alright, so the, I was given the wrong replacement part for the uh, brake pads. They don't line up, they're not the same. Um, so what I'm gonna end up doing is just I'm gonna put the old ones back on so this way I can, it can, take, I can go back to the auto parts store and pick up the correct ones. So that's something to keep in mind when you guys buy the replacements. Double check with the auto parts uh, guy and make sure you got the right part. Um, if not, you could always check up the uh, part number in your, um, on your car manual or you could just look it up on the internet before you go into the auto parts store to make sure you got the right part. Anyway, so that those are the contact points that you want to lubricate. The caliper on the uh, would hit right here on the sides. It'll make it a circle, but it'll hit right there. You can see it on the back of this brake where the caliper hit. The left indentation so you want to put break uh, um, some lubricant there um, and also on the sides where this would touch but just a small amount and the sides here where they'll touch in with the metal you'd also want to put a little bit in the metal sides and um, uh, yeah and then that that would be it that would be the replacement then you just put in the uh, brake pads on either side again with the pin this would be on the back or with the tab that will be on the back and the front that has no tab this will be for, for the front yeah. like I said they gave me the wrong <clears throat> wrong break it won't fit anyway um, when you put it over here what that means you just want to put a small amount like that small amount there being sure not to hit the brake uh, the oh my god what's this called the disc brake disc <laughs> And um, let's see. Oh yeah, there is another part. I can show you guys as I'm putting these back on. Now normally, um, if you uh, didn't replace, if you were able to replace them, as you can see the difference in the brake pad, the huge difference. This has a lot more uh, I guess brakes on it than this would. These are really worn out. These are brand new. So when you go to put on the new ones, they're not gonna sit in the same length, not the caliper. These are gonna be pushed out a little bit more, and the caliper would have to be the press all the way in. That's where a tool like this comes in handy. Push this in. All the way in. So it hits and for whatever reason, if it's too small like this, you don't have that much movement, what you could also do is get, what I would do is I would get a key wrench or just like a very thin piece of metal or whatever and put it in the way. Put it in the way of this. This is an example. Put it in the way of this just to help the press the brake pad all the way, and then you just start turning it and it'll start going in. So, this is this tool is very handy. So, caliper uh, the presser um, when you're replacing your brakes, you'd want that, you'd need that, not want it, but you'd need that to perform, to perform the uh, 
brake replacements in your car. And that's it. After you replace that, you can go ahead put the caliper back on. Make sure the slider pins are on. And then, start with one. That on. And the last one. And that's it. If you follow those um those steps, there will be no need to bleed out the, uh, the caliper or to bleed out your brakes. That'll be it. You press the brake pedal. This the uh, caliper with the press, and then you just add a little bit of that three like uh, brake fluid or whatever brake fluid you would need, and that's it. But just always keep in mind when you're replacing your brakes, make sure you examine your um, your brake disc before you uh, you go to the auto parts store and buy your stuff. If you see any type of scorching, any type of holes or whatever, you want to replace this. Um, and that's it, guys. All right.